for Jerry, obviously a, a tough day at, at Welling United. What's your overall evaluation of events? It was tough going into it, Mark, because obviously we knew that um, we were going to be short with personnel. I mean, it's bad enough with Jack being suspended. Um, but obviously, we have Jordan Dyer now. He's going to be out for sort of three or four weeks with a, with a knee problem. Um, Cody Cook again is out, and we, he's missed too much football um, out with an Achilles problem. Um, and what that does also against a team like Welling, it takes away your height and it takes away your strength in the air. And you'll need that because you know it's going to be, and no disrespect, it's going to be aerial bombardments, it's going to be set pieces. And what the team did, to their credit, was they, they competed really well all day. What 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 we didn't do was compete well enough in the goal that they scored for the winner. And um, they were never going to cut us open. I think they had two chances. One was the one that they've made, and it was a great effort. They hit the underside of the bar first half. And the second one is the goal, which is very late on. And it's um, it's not great defending, though, from us. I think we can be a lot more positive and dominant in our 18-yard box. I disappointed that the ball would bounce from a corner. And then they got lucky, actually, as a few ricochets. And it actually ends up going in off of off of Max for an own goal, which is which was our luck, really. If we'd have come away with a point, it had been a very good point. The pitch was almost unplayable, bordering on being horrific. And um, the moments when we did play our football... We should have been 3-0 up. And I'm not saying that lightly. If, if you get to see the chances, if they're out there, um, Tom Smith is inches away, should maybe score with a header. Didn't quite get his timing right from five yards. Scotty Wilson, likewise, he just sort of doesn't connect and it comes off his shoulder, I think, in the end from five yards, should score. And Danny Greenstage really disappointed. He was absolutely gutted afterwards that he didn't finish with his right foot in a really good area, unopposed. So when you talk about those chances to go in 3-0 up at half time. You don't take them; it gives the opposition a chance. So, really disappointed, but um, but I can't be I can't be hard on our boys because they competed really well all day. Um, deserve more than what they got out of the game, but um, we're still in a position where we can we can still attack these playoffs. But we're going to have to win probably five of the six games, I think now. Yeah, does it demonstrate that people might look at the running and think, oh, we've got a lot of teams near the bottom, but they're all fighting mm. for their lives, as, as Welling words. You said perhaps not pleasing on the eye, but that they certainly battled, and it's what the likes of Hungerford will do as well. Yeah, fair play, fair play. Yeah, they did, fair play to Warren. One thing he's going to demand off his team is that they fight, and that's your, your spot on there, that you know the teams we are playing are doing exactly that. They're fighting for their lives. And you know we go to Hungerford on Saturday, and Danny will have them up for that game. I think they always are for Bath City. We're going to take a, a really good following there. We always do over the hunger folks. It's not too far to go. But, um, but we'll go there positive still. I'm not going to not gonna be downbeat with the group. I mean, we've had our challenges for sure. <laughs> and this is like, I think today was the one where this is the end of our seven weeks of Saturday, Tuesdays. That's just, you just can't. That's uncomprehensible. You can't, there's no way you can you can plan for that really we're such a small group and we're not in a position where we could add to it in the window we haven't got the money that we can just go out and spend money and get players in we'd like to but we can't and um, we've had to go with what we've got and because of the injuries it's really it's really telling on the group and really taxing even players that were starting like Danny Greenslade still suffering with his hamstrings O.P. Edwards is new in with us and his groins are going on about an hour so I have to take him off all the time and uh, Kieran Parso went back in. I thought he was excellent, actually. I thought Kieran led as a leader at the back there. And, um, yeah, it's really challenging on these boys. And it's nice next week that we can get, hopefully, well, we will, we'll get a Tuesday, Thursday training session into the boys going into um, Hungerford, which will hopefully pay dividends because we've had such a wonderful run. All this meant is our last two results haven't quite gone with us. Don't think we deserve that but we're still in a good position. We're going to have some fun with it. Let's let's go and enjoy it. What I don't want to do is be doom and gloom after losing a wet well in. It's easy to do that. I want us to go and enjoy going to Hungerford on Saturday and still being with a shout. We're going to have to do, there's a lot of work. This team's going to have to lose above us, but um, all we can do is look after ourselves and we'll try and win every game now between now and the end of the season, which is only six. Um, and if we do, it'll be left in the hands of the gods then whether we get in the playoffs or not. Yeah, I think it's been a good away record. We've it's our first defeat on the road in all competition since Braintree at the end of January. It, but it feels like that perhaps the Somerset Premier Cup semi final couldn't come at a worse time. Of course, now Tom Smith suspended, and I presume that the injuries to Jordan Dye and Cody Cook were were picked up in that. Yeah, Jordan's been playing. If I'm being honest, Mark, Jordan's been playing it for the last two or three weeks, sort of carrying it and getting through games. So credit to him on that. Cody has had this ongoing Achilles problem and he has shocked treatments with it. 
Um, like I said, he's missed a lot of football and it's nothing of his fault, but it's, it's too much. And we, we've we missed a player like Cody for too much of the season. Um, if you look at some of the balls, I mean, we're not... When you talk about their goal, it's not great contact. It's just got lucky and bounced around and they've scored the own goal. As I said, we got the own goal, but the balls we're putting in, Elliot put some wonderful balls in, I thought. And um, Cody Cook... If he gets one of those three chances, you'd like to think that he'd put one away. And even some of our set pieces, they're going in really good areas, but not on the end of them. So, yeah, we've missed we've missed key players, of course. But what we've never done is we've never... It'd have been easy in that period now, of the seven weeks just gone, to feel sorry for ourselves. But quite the opposite, we rolled our sleeves up and we had a right good go, as you know. And you've been at all the games. And we've done it with real quality. I don't think the pitch allowed us to do that Saturday at all. And the moment we did, I remember a really good passing move second half where James was narrowly close from sort of 20 yards to finish off a great move. Um, so, yeah, we, we'll, we'll get be positive with the boys. Um, Hungerford is a is a good game to look forward to. They will be fighting and scrapping, but they've also got quality in there as well. They're not just going to come in and make it physical. They've got players in there that can really hurt you. So, yeah, we'll go in there and it's going to be a good atmosphere because we take a lot there. And... Um, Come, come, come! Tuesday, come Thursday, we'll be ready for that. Don't worry about that. We'll be ready, and um, and of course, we've got a, a wonderful Easter campaign as well. We've got Taunton at home, which will bring a big crowd. Looking forward to that one already, and then Weymouth away. So, all I want to do, Mark, is get to the last game of the season and, and be something on it. If we can go into that game, and we've still got an opportunity to get in the playoffs, then then we've done a good job. Uh, Dan Hayfield's going to be making his fiftieth appearance. His next one. It just shows how. A tougher season it's been in terms of games. I mean, he only joined in the summer. He's, he's only missed one Somerset Premier Cup game. His versatility coming in to force again. He had to play centre back the other day, and he's proved to be one of many good additions. Yeah, no, I, I think the recruitment's been great in the summer, Mark. I really do. The key for us now is trying to secure these boys, and um, yeah, that's that's a bigger picture. That to so make sure that we we get these boys' futures tied up to Bath City Football Club. Um, Dan Hayfield is a player that I really feel sorry for um, in regard of the amount of positions he had to play for us. But he's done it. He's sometimes not been happy with it because you want to play in your position, but he has got on with it. Um, yesterday I've asked him to play right of a right of a back three and it's difficult to adapt when you're going from right wing back to right of a back three and then playing in centre midfield. And, you know, it... It, it, it's, it's just circumstance that's allowed us to do that and because of his versatility he's never probably played there in his life but we've had to do it it's needs must so the only positive we got is Joe Reigns had some more minutes Saturday Mark and that, that could mean that if he has a good week under his belt he might be close to Saturday and that's what we're aiming at so if we can get Joe back on the pitch obviously Jack comes back into contention we'll lose Tom Smith for three games of course um, and then Cody Cook we'll see where Cody is and Jordan definitely won't be fit but we're hoping Cody can have a good week's training and maybe available for the weekend. Elliot's got a really sore foot of that really bad late tackle on him by us by the dugout. Um, he'll be touch and go for Saturday. So, yeah, the injury the injury room doesn't look great. But um, like I say, all we do is we'll roll our sleeves up and we'll have another go on Saturday and try and take it to this last game of the season if we can. Well, best of luck for the game on Saturday. Cheers. Thanks, Mark.